What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Back with another amplifier, overview, show off, whatever you wanna call it. I just figure, you know, seeing pictures of these amps is one thing, but actually seeing it in 1080p goodness is another. So what we're gonna talk about today is a kicker, ZR120. And actually the reason I have both amps down, I have the Soundstream Reference 500 and this one, is because these were partially donated to old school stereo. Um, Joel, guy who contacted me, actually gave me just a really good price for both of these and I'd really just consider it a donation because I pretty much paid shipping and a little bit more to get these amps. So I appreciate your support, you know, anything to help out. I'm gonna test these amps and I'll probably sell them at a later date to um, recuperate a little bit of the money from the test equipment and everything that I buy. But if you guys have old school amps or, or stuff and want to send me, that would be great. So anyway, let's go over the ZR120 today. As you can see, the remote ground and 12 volt. This one has a 30 amp fuse and there's the power and the protection. And on the other side, we have the speaker outputs. Bridge is the outside terminals. We have the kicker ZRX module. Let me pull it out so I can show it to you. This allows you to go between, see if I can get it close enough so you can see it at the top, bypass, low pass, or high pass. And right now we have it in bypass because I was powering some uh, bookshelf speakers. But this module allows you to set your crossover to whatever you want to use it. And, uh, and again, these modules I believe are required for these amplifiers to work. So you've got to have some type of module. There's different kinds. I think there's one that's an EQ and there's a couple other ones, but anyway, you have to have one of these modules for this amp to work, for any of these amps to work. Uh, there's your gain control, the output and inputs, RCAs, those are gold-plated RCA jacks. So uh, let me pop this joker open real quick and we'll check out the guts. All right, and here we have the internals of the Kicker ZR120. Not too bad for an amp that's rated at 30 watts by two. I seem to believe that this amp is capable of a lot more than 60 watts. Even 120 watt bridge is what it's rated. I bet it'll do almost twice that. As you can see, the toroid's not that big, um, but we've got a lot of, a lot of um, output devices here. And um, like I said, there's the the plug-in module as you can see when you pull that out it just slides and locks into place there to set your crossover and anyway just a pretty simple looking app but it's pretty powerful these are very heavy the heat sinks on these can dissipate a lot of heat so they're capable of doing um, two ohms bridge so one ohm stereo so anyway we'll put this on the bench one day soon and we'll test it out see how it does this is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. I'm out of here.